Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures and in today's video I am bringing you a box of jewelry. <laughs> I was trying to open it kind of without pouring it all out um, to show you what I got for you. So I'm going to show you the invoice. So this, I don't know if that's relevant, but I got, <laughs> this is to prove like some people say, I can't believe that you haven't opened this. No, I bought this, look, back in, what is that, June? <laughs> We're in October now. Um, I'm really bad about hoarding stuff. So I had this box sitting over there since since June. And so it's five and a half pounds of assorted jewelry. I spent $34 on with shipping $46. So let's do this. And if you are here in the chat and you're watching live, thanks so much for being here. And I'm gonna dump this out. Hang on, it keeps giving me an error. So what I'm gonna do, I thought this might be in like a bag, like a Ziploc, but it's not. So I'm gonna scoot it over and try to get, here we go, ready? I guess their packaging was like, hey, let's put it in a bag and then like pour in packing peanuts all around it. I feel like I'm a doula right now, like or a midwife or something. You can do it. Okay, sorry if that's obscene to you. I feel like I'm helping birth this bag of <laughs> jewelry. All right, and now I'm gonna have peanut things on my floor because I'm just gonna like sweep them onto the floor. Yeah, let me give you something to look at while I clean up <laughs> the rest of this stuff. All right, I was going to go back and look at the original listing for this to try to show you like why I chose this one, but I decided, all right, let's just do this. You know, let's just dive in. Um, <laughs> so, here we go, cancel. Gosh, some, I keep getting an error popping up on my on my phone. All right, now then, it's just not gonna stop, is it? All right, let me know that you can see and hear everything okay, and I'm gonna start pulling this stuff out. Oh, that looks like something I would have wanted to get right there. Okay, so again, with shipping and everything, I spent $46. This came from the Goodwill of South Florida, in case you're on Shop Goodwill and like to go look at other shops. So I see lots of pretty things in here. Lots of natural stone, which is always good. Also, I forgot to share this. So if you're in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers or anything, um, then definitely go over there and share this in the group. Let me see if I can back the camera up for you. Let's see, here we go. I'm messing with my little tripod. How's that? And then I can't see. <laughs> can you see it okay? Is that better? Hang on. Did that work or no? It doesn't look like it's, oh gosh, now it's a giant, big old giant mess. How about that? Is that any better? Okay, we'll try it. We'll see if that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom it off or scoot it out and we'll look at things one at a time. So there we go. Okay, so let's start in. Um, and I also have with me, I've got my loop and I've got my magnet. So we can do that. Okay. Uh, Fine Age Fine says, um, OMG, I went on a little auction bidding spree the other night. I can't wait till they come in. Yeah, and I have actually got another, is that one or two? I've got a couple boxes over there and I actually have two thread up boxes sitting over there too. I just get, I don't know, I get sidetracked and then I go off and do other things. So that's just life. Okay. So here's this, and I know it keeps freezing, and I think what it is is my phone. My phone keeps popping up these warnings, and so it's freezing up. I don't know why, I keep canceling them out, and they keep coming back. We'll just have to make it work. Okay, so this is a pretty cool cuff. It's um, silver, some kind of silver metal. It's not sterling silver, that's for sure. Let me see if it's frozen on your end too. Yep, it sure did. Oh, that's gonna get super annoying. Hmm, what can we do about that? Okay, so I have my magnet here. I don't know why it's continuing to do that. Usually I can cancel it out and it goes away forever, but it's just not. So it's not magnetic, but just from looking at it, it's not gonna be sterling silver. So um, I'll probably test it. It's, it's some sort of maybe like, I don't know, another silver composite of metal but it's got some really cool stones set into it. So that's pretty nice. And once I like straighten it out, 
it'll probably sell for a for a good amount. Clean it up a little bit in there. All right. So next, what have we got? These look like coffee beans. They really do. What do you guys think? Coffee beans? Do I need to zoom it in? Do I need to smell it? They're kind of sticky. I think they are coffee beans. Look. What do you think? Coffee beans? I'm smelling them. Um, they just smell kind of woody. But yeah, they look like coffee beans. Would you wear a coffee bean, hang on, zooming around, a coffee bean necklace? Zoom, zoom, there. How about that? Coffee bean necklace, anybody? Uh, it's got a nice little rose quartz pendant on it, this nice little pink, sorry, zooming the wrong way, um, quartz pendant, so that's kind of nice. Okay, but these beans, I mean, really, who was like, you know what we should do? You know what? Coffee, and it's kind of sticky. It's like a little bit tacky. So gosh, could you imagine if you're sweating and wearing this? Oh my gosh, no thank you. So there's nice pieces that could be, unless I'm missing, unless I am missing the market on coffee bean necklaces. Oh, there we go again. It's gonna freeze up for me for a second, sorry. Um. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's like an emergency. Maybe it's more like, Tell me when it freezes, does it freeze my voice as well? Cause I'm gonna have to figure that out. Let me know in the chat when it, when my when my screen freezes, is it also freezing my voice? Okay, um, yeah, like those candy necklaces and when you're like hungry, you just munch off of a candy one. Maybe when you're like feeling kind of tired, you just chew off one of your, um, oh good, voice is good. <laughs> I can, uh, then I can work with that. All right, I didn't wanna have to start and stop and all that good stuff. Okay, now my fingers are sticky. Thanks a lot. So here we've got what I think may be Jasper. Um, I'm not, the red stones always throw me, but I think Jasper's more orange, isn't it? Somebody, if you know that this is something else, please tell me, because it's got those red veins in it. What is this one? It's really pretty. All right, let me see. Um... <laughs> Okay, so there's this, and yeah, so this is actually something that I think could sell for a nice amount, because I could see somebody really liking that red, that red color very much, um, and if you are a stone person and you know better than I do, then let me know what you think that is, if it's not Jasper, which I think it is. Okay, oh, thank you so much, June. Um, and hello, everybody that's in the chat. I didn't get this, a chance to say hello to everybody. Oh, no, isn't this lovely? Okay, so here we've got this really nice little scarab. I'm going to zoom in on this scarab. So here's this really sweet little scarab. Flipping it over, and it's set where you can see the um, kind of like cartouche carvings on the back, the hieroglyphics or whatever they've got carved into the back here. That's really nice. And if one of my, my kids are really into Egyptology, Egyptology stuff, so if they see that, they're going to think, oh my gosh, I want that mom. So there's that really cute thing. So if I sell this, if I am able to sell it, you know what I could do is put it on a chain and put it under the Christmas tree. That might be something that goes under the Christmas tree. Both of my kids are into Egyptology and my nephew, so... It'll be a toss up <laughs> as far as who gets it. All right, let's see who else is in the chat. Um, again, thank you so much for coming to, to watch everybody. Go over there and leave a thumbs up. And if you're able, go share and let, let our friends know that I'm live because I totally forgot to share before we went out, uh, before I started that is. Okay, I'm looking through that chat. Pink, pa oh no, it's, it's like peanuts, packing peanuts. They like packed it in packing peanuts. Yeah. Um, Heather says, when we were kids, we wore lobster claw necklaces and wishbone necklaces. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. So, how was your day been? Did you guys get a cold front, too? Oh, my gosh. Is it cold or what? It's, yeah. Anyway, freezing cold today. So, here we've got a really nice stone necklace. And we've got these orange stones, which now I'm like, wait, is that Jasper? <laughs> I'm really, uh, I get mixed up with my, or is that an agate? That's an agate, isn't it? Yeah, see, that's like a banded. And again, if I'm wrong, I'm happy for you to correct me. Or, oh gosh, okay, we'll just move on from that. All right, so then this one, decorating yourself says the Egyptian pendant is probably 800 silver worth about 35 bucks. Well, that's okay, all right. 
So then these are um, most almost I'm almost positive these are halite. These are going to be dyed halite. So, and I'm looking through to see if I see any kind of white, like they would be dyed. Because halite, if you know, is, is white. And it mimics turquoise. And uh, a lot of times you can tell by looking down through the drill hole. Or a lot of times it'll be scuffed off or chipped. There we go. There's a bit of, of it right there. So you can kind of see where the red is missing. So, but it's really nice stone. And uh, if... I don't know, it's bizarre, because there's I guess there's like a hook missing on this. So that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, Julie sit through Thrifty Paper Garden says, I live close to an area that's getting a blizzard. So likely what I'll do with this is um, hand this over to my sister, because she's been doing a lot of stuff with natural stone as well as glass lately. So that's probably what I'm going to do with that. Oh, I'm so glad. Lauren says, you help me with jewelry terminology which would be the toughest part for creating an effective title. And in the, in my group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, we've been having, and I say Christine and them really are spearheading this. When I say we, I mean, they're really taking charge and then I'm gonna come back later and, and just see how everybody did. But they're doing, you know, they're starting with brooches and they're talking about descriptive words and how to list different things, et cetera, et cetera. So that's pretty cool. So if you're not, go join Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers because it's a good group and it's growing. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay. Lots of friends saying where they're from. Nice to meet you all if you're new. Oh my gosh. And the Southern California wildfires, y'all, please be safe, you know. So here we've got some tiger's eye, a nice tiger's eye necklace. Um, I'll probably sell that. It's a nice length and that's a barrel clasp on it. So, um... If you're new here, go over there and hit the thumbs up. And if you're not new here, go hit the thumbs up too. And I would appreciate it. <laughs> so, all right, so there's that. I would tell you a price. If they were smaller chips, like I've, I've had little ones that have smaller um, chips of, you know, natural stone that sell for about $12 or so. This one I might try to sell for a little more because the stones are a little bit bigger, a little bit. Okay. All right, then let's see what else we've got. That's an earring. We'll see if we find the mate for that one in just a second. Uh, what else can we pull from here? I can see why it's like for five pounds. It's got a lot of natural stone, so that makes it pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Hello, hello, Rebecca. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right, so then we've got another like tumbled stone necklace. So if you get a necklace like this, you know, and say you want to list it, what are you going to, you know, how are you going to describe it? One, you could say, you know, they're tumbled stones. You could list off the, the stones that you've got here. I don't know what this one is. It's kind of like mauve stone, but you've got, you know, some other, what is that one? Like an agate, multiple kinds of agate on here. Anyway, so pretty cool, heavy, natural stone necklace. And I, I don't know the price I would put on this. I'd have to look it up. So that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, Christina says, I love the natural stone lots from Goodwill. I just got one last week. Yeah, and I think, you know, those are pretty, I like to pick them up when I find them at garage sales or estate sales and things like that. And this one I think might actually be a turquoise necklace. I have to look at it a little bit closer. It might, it might be. Um, so that's kind of nice. I, I still like, I'm always second guess myself because there are some that are so good um, at, at um, fooling me <laughs> into being turquoise when they're not. I mean, so it's like, even though I see some white bits, I know there are some turquoise that have a little bit of white and this doesn't look like typical howlite to me. So I'll have to do a little bit of double checking on that. Tell me what you think. What's your opinion? Let me hold it up closer for you so you can see. Do you think it's halite? Do you think it's something else dyed? Or do you think it's actual turquoise? I always go, I always start with no. And then I try to, you know, see if I can disprove that because I don't want to sell something that's not actually turquoise because the price difference can be substantially different. Um, but then again, I, I've had a halite chip necklace that sold for about the same price as a turquoise chip necklace. So, yeah. You think it's, yeah, you think it's dyed to something, but not how, yeah. Okay, then, 
We've got this one. I see something really pretty. I'm holding off on you. I'm putting you over there. Okay, come on now. This is multiple. You know how I feel about tangles. There you go. Okay, where's the back of this one? All right, scoot back, everybody. You guys scoot over there. So here we have, this is a multiple strand necklace. I could see someone really liking this. So far, so good on this lot. I'll have to fix it because some of the, um, yeah, some of these just need to kind of be evened out a little bit, but it's a multi-strand kind of red and gold tone or bronzy toned necklace. So it's really pretty. Um, yeah, it looks, Lauren said blue, this turquoise looked too blue. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, but like I say, you know, I just have to start digging around and double checking everything and seeing, cause there are some that are blue, but I don't know. There are many varieties as you probably already know. So yeah, I could see this doing pretty well. Probably, I mean, I, depending on what I see out there, I might try to put about 20 bucks on this necklace. So I don't see a maker's mark or anything. But I don't think it'll matter. Some of you will want that multiple, let's see, what do we have here? Multi-strand, multimedia, natural stone and bead charm necklace with lots of little charms. Cute. Okay, let's see. Da da da, I'm looking. Uh, okay, get on there, you. All right, here we've got some, looks like some broken pieces or maybe not oh there we go aha so we've got these hematite beads they're magnetic and stretchy so you could wear it i'm not sure I'll, i might go in a lot and then this is cute it's is it missing one yeah it's missing one maybe it's in the bag so it's got these charms of ooh, what do y'all think that is they're kind of like purpley blue let me zoom in a bit i know the light's kind of on it, but what do you think? Sodalite? I don't know, it looks more purpley than what I would think sodalite would be. Lapis, uh, well it does have, a, well is that broken? That's glue, so that's not gold. A lot of times with lapis you see like some gold flecks in it, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's glue, so it's been broken. I don't know, it's not lapis, I don't think. Yeah, sodalite's my first guess. So, yeah, if that was more, if it was gold like that throughout and a little bit darker blue, then I would say lapis. Okay, let's just go after this darling. Oh my goodness, let's just soak this one in. All right, I'm gonna take it slow because, and this one needs to be taken slow. I'm gonna open it. Please have a nice clasp. All right, so let's just drink this one in. It is maybe missing some of the seed pearls in it. I don't know what those stones are. It's definitely got this Art Nouveau style with all the swirls and stuff. Isn't it gorgeous, Christina? I don't think I'm gonna sell this. <laughs> it's, you know, what is this, brass copper? Maybe copper, yeah. Um, set in, maybe at one point it was, maybe had some kind of gold wash on it. But I, I, I think it's probably just gonna I think it's just, just going to stay right here at home. You have found your home, my friend. Because isn't it beautiful? That is just, that screams like, oh my gosh. You got to keep that girl. Um, Linda's asking, where are you selling most of your jewelry? It just depends. So, I mean, I, I have months where it's better on Etsy and I have months where it's better on eBay. And I'd have to go back and look at my last... Um, sales video and see because I can't remember and honestly I don't know what this stone is or if it's just like a conglomerate of not anything isn't it beautiful <laughs> set I will wear it every day I'm a girl I'm a I'm a weird diamonds girl every day I will because I have some jewelry I think I've worn it a couple times uh not this one but of my grandmother's and it's like if I wait around till I ha have a day when I feel like I have a place to wear some diamonds and emeralds I'll never, ever, ever wear it. So I'll, I wear, I wear nice stuff all the time. So yeah, <laughs> so I will wear it. All right, so next up we've got these green, 
I don't know. I mean, originally I thought they might be like a peridot, but I don't normally see the peridot chips this big. What do you guys think? And then it's got this cute little charm on it. That might be a logo, but I don't I don't know the logo. And it's not a four-leaf clover. It's a little um what am I saying? Flower. Okay. I'm looking back. <laughs> Sell it where I'm gonna wear it. I will wear it. I'll wear it to the pool. I'm gonna wear it to the park. Janet says that she sold a hard rock cafe bracelet lately. Decorating yourself says she thought the glue was gold. I see that. Yeah, it looked gold um, on that one. I'm looking back in the chat real fast because it jumped away. Um, Dan says, be honest, you stockpile. I do. I have a ton of jewelry, that is. Not gold. But, um, yeah, I <laughs> have a lot. But uh, I don't know. Why not, right? Why not? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I just paid about 35 bucks. I think it was 46 with shipping. And uh, have I ever found Jade? Yes, I have. One of my best sales, um, uh, sells, one of my best sales was Jade. It was a pair of cufflinks and a tie tack set in gold that were Jade that I sold for $400. And I found them at a garage sale. I paid $4 at a garage sale. Okay. And it was early. That was like what was my hook into all of this. Not just jewelry, but reselling. Oh my gosh, that, that was my... Okay, so here we've got another natural stone necklace with some more... I always get these mixed up, and I feel like they're the same. Oh my gosh. What is this called, you guys? Every time. It's not Uncle Unikite. Is that the one that I always mess up the way you say it? Is that what that is? Um, I'm looking in the chat waiting for somebody to save me. Uh, but I think that's what that is. You, Unikite? Uncleite? I always say it wrong. But I think... No, nah, no, nah, I'm second guessing myself. Anyway, it's a natural stone. There we go. Unikite. And I always say it wrong. Adventuring? I don't know that that's your adventuring. You know, is it? The dark green ones? Oh, tricky, tricky. Yeah, I have to see them side by side. Thank goodness for the internet, right? So I'll pull up on the internet, like, comparing green stones. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely a mix. Maybe it's both, right? Okay, putting that to the side. Then next, we've got another necklace that's got some more of the sodalite in it. Let me make sure I'm looking. Let me zoom it in on that blue. So what do you think? I'm looking closer. So I'm looking to see, oh, isn't that nice when I put it where you can't see it? Uh, like a lot of times with, like I said, with the lapis, it'll have more like gold flecks in it. And it'll have some gold flecks, but I don't see that. But it would be more like this darker blue. But then there's some here with the white, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be sodalite as well. Okay, so, and then we've got these like hematite stones in their beads, whatnot and some clear. So honestly, there's a lot of stuff here that I might, because if you guys know what malas are, my sister's been making some cool malas, not traditional ones, but like really cool different ones. Um, so I might see if she wants some of that. She's going to be here Thursday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If you've seen any of my videos with my sister, you'll understand why. And if you haven't, I have a playlist that says all sister Elaine videos. <laughs> Um, so yeah, go catch up and you'll see why. If you think I'm nuts or funny or anything amazing or not amazing, but anything, you'll see my sister is like 10 million times cooler than me. <laughs> so yes. Um, spell what does Elaine make? Mala? M-A. Oh my gosh. Now that I have to spell it. Mala? M-A-L-A? -A? But I think there's a feels like it should be more, <laughs> more <laughs> intricately spelled than that. I don't know. Okay. But it's something, yeah, with beads and kind of like prayer beads kind of deal. So she's into that kind of energy. She's been getting into that. She just finished her like yoga, her first thing to be a yoga instructor. So there's all of that fun stuff happening in her life. So, okay, next up, we've got lots of cool beads here, lots of cool stones. And now we've got this charm bracelet. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Lydia's like, so glad. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure, tell me if you would want to see this. 
like a ride along that's not reselling, but that is me and my sister just going running around. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while. We haven't done that. Yeah, like chakra necklaces. Okay, so here we've got green. What is this one? Now then, what are you? Oh my goodness. So this one, what do you guys think? Can y'all see that? I'm going to zoom in on it so I can try to see it better. I'm looking at this because it's not exactly, is it black? It's giving off a weird, like, at first I thought I could see through it, but then I think it's just the reflection. Yeah, it's a reflection. Okay. Maybe it's just the black stone because it's not hematite. It's not, yeah. Anyway, and then some cool green. What is this green one? Because I don't think that's peridot. What is this one? Okay, I'm gonna have to look up the green one, unless you guys know. Hello, bunch of Vulture, well, I can't say your name, Vulture Dumpster Dive. So, yeah, um, I feel like I am spacing on my words right now, on my stones. This isn't jet, um, if it was real jet, because that's made from like a bog, wait, wait, am I gonna say this wrong? Jet is like a peat bog type stuff, right? Like the wood. And then French jet is glass, so obsidian is a possibility. Um, I have a whole video where I had to teach myself and others that. Green agate, there we go. Because I was looking at the color and this one has got a little more like yellowy almost, even though peridot, but peridot is a little more, <laughs> do you see my hand moments? You, you know what I mean, right? Transparent. And this one's got a little more, you can kind of see layering in there, which isn't, isn't. Yeah, okay, moving on. Then we've got, oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. So, oh, ba, 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 ba. I'm not sure what Greek beads are, but I would hold them and touch each bead, deep breath. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, like I said, some malas like my, I are all the same bead, which is fine. But she's making some really cool ones and then she's trying to, customize them for the person, you know, like custom ones based on color and whatever your needs may be. So this is really a nice necklace. So it's got this nice pink, like rose quartz um, stone in there. It's got this nice tassel on it, nice long chain. And I don't, you know, it's not silver, but I still think it's really, really lovely. And it looks like a kite, doesn't it? With a little kite tail on it right so very very sweet i think that's going to sell even though it's not on sterling silver or set in silver um i still think it's gonna do pretty well selling look at that friends we have 101 people watching and only 27 thumbs up go over there hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down if you're just like why am i here i have a million things to do because community that's why all right, so there's that. And I haven't sung once. I am on my best behavior, right? I know some people love it and some people despise when I get silly. Ah, oh, well. All right, so next up we've got, oh, I love this, the feel of this. I don't like the pokiness of it, but I love how cold it is. Like, it's really cold to the touch. So these are probably just some quartz chips. Really nice little clear quartz chips. I mean, I get who, like, I guess because I'm so white, it just disappears on me, basically. It would probably have to go on somebody that, it would probably, I, I say that, I simply say that differently. It would probably look better on somebody that had a richer color of skin than I do. <laughs> Cause it's just like, Margaret, I'm so, I'm not used to you not wearing any jewelry. I am wearing jewelry, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, so I could see that looking really good on somebody with like a nice rich colored skin. Here's another one, nice little quartz stretch. And again, I love the feel of it. It's nice and cold. This one is, does not have as, as sharp edges as the other one does. These ones are a little more tumbled. You think it's a light citrine? This one? Huh. <laughs> right. I, I just had a little, it's just itching a little bit. Don't, don't mind that. I'll put some cream on it. We'll be fine. <laughs> All right, then there's another one. Look, bonus. Oh, if there were three in here, if there were three or more, then we could really have a party for the for all the kids. Okay, so there's that. Maybe <laughs> there. 
<laughs> okay, so we'll set that aside. Then, if you guys have any questions, because I am talking with the chat today as we go. Let's see. I've got some more hematite on the way. I'm trying to pull that out. Come on now. There we go. You, you have to wait your turn. So here we've got a nice little hematite elephant. I wonder, he's got a little stone in the eye, but then there's holes for other ones. And I'm wondering if it's just meant to be that way or if it's missing stones. I feel like it's supposed to just be like this because if it had stones in all of these different areas, it would look weird, I think. Tell me what you think. Um, it's your chance to sing. Oh, thanks, Kayla. <laughs> I, I, I will sing. Yeah, when the when the mood strikes me or when something triggers something in my brain, I can't help it. Ask my kids. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think it should be like that too. So that's pretty nice. I could see someone liking that, and I love selling jewelry that has animals because people have their favorite animal, and um, yeah, so elephants. My estate ride along that I put up yesterday, I went through that estate sale and I show like what I picked up and what I didn't pick up, you know, what I left behind. Oh my gosh. At that estate sale. And I, most of the stuff I got was animal, like figural stuff. Oh, we've got a tangle over here. It's a hematangle. There we go. Okay. So, oh yes, trunk is up. That's a good, you know, that's a good point, Christina. So when you're, when you've got elephant stuff, you know, and you're let, you know, listing it, apparently not just jewelry, but on figurines and stuff, the trunk up is something to put in the title because that's more, um, good luck, right? Okay. Note to self, don't eat a bunch of peanut butter and banana before you go live because then you just, anyway. Okay. So next up, we've got another hematite necklace. And these, like, if I was going to list this, I would say it's probably like a choker. Not a, not exactly a choker, but a, um, oh, what's another word for that? I might put choker on there, but what's the one where it's like a, the collar, a collar, where it's like at the base of the throat, right? So the collar style, barrel beads, and then this, this one would be called like a bicone type bead. And then these are graduated pendants, flat, rectangular. So that, those would be some keywords I might use. And then whatever like healing properties hematite have. I know I talked to you guys before about, I was going to do a video talking about, maybe I'll have my sister do it, <laughs> uh, the different stones uh, for the different chakras. Because that's something I'm learning from her, which I'm not, I'm one of those people that I'm like skeptically interested in that. You know, like I, I think it sounds cool. I don't know if it's real. But there are certain stones that if you're into that, like align with the different chakras. And so knowing like which chakra, like, oh, that goes with the heart chakra because it's red or that's the root chakra because it's. And then if you put that in the title or in keywords or something that can add another element of like, oh, somebody's looking for a necklace. That's, you know, the the throat chakra. Is that one? I don't know. OK, <laughs> so uh, let's see. Looking back. Oh yeah, Heather, the, that one is the one that was right, I put it up yesterday. It was a video I recorded a while back but never got around to putting up. Okay, so here's this problem. This is the problem area with this necklace. It's got this metal point of, uh, you know, pain point here for you. So I would have to take this off and hope that it wasn't holding the necklace together. I don't think it is. Uh, no, okay. I really like this one. This one is nicely done. So this is another hematite bead necklace. But if you look, it's tied in between each each uh, bead. Can you see that? I mean, that just it would take a little extra time. Now, yeah, I mean, I like that. So I could see somebody really liking this one as well. Really pretty. Looks like a bicycle chain. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so if you're for a cyclist, cyclist jewelry, there we go. <laughs> Look for all those keywords, right? Look for all those keywords. So, ah, Christina says the Crystal Bible is a great one to have for help with listings. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that one up. 
So there's that one. Yeah, I can, so Vulture, the dumpster diver saying for jewelry, Christina, and I would think, yeah, because um, you would get other keywords for your jewelry. This one looks homemade for show. Oh, wow. Somebody was feeling experimental. <laughs> okay, let's, let's break it down. Okay, can I just say, I'm gonna alienate people here. <clears throat> I don't like the phrase, let's, there's a lot here to unpack, right? I don't know why I don't like that. Maybe it's because it's overused. Or let's unpack this for just a moment. Um, I don't know why I don't like that phrase. Everybody has a phrase that just gets under their skin. Let You know, why don't you tell me what yours is? <laughs> I told you mine. I went first. You go second. Yeah. So let's unpack this right now, okay? <laughs> So here we've got, now these do, do look like these are um, lapis. So this would be a nice one to take apart. So as you can see, you see the gold flecks in there? I'm going to try to get, I know I've got a glare with the light. But do you see like the gold flecking in that? Tell me what your thoughts are, peoples. And it's got a bit darker blue than the other one that we said was soda light. Let me show you as for comparison. As for comparison, see... That one's got like more white in it and stuff, like white bits and all. And then the, that wasn't even the original one, was it? Um, and then this one has got like a deeper blue and it's got like gold flecks in it. So, oh, all right, Christine, bless your heart. Oh my gosh. And the thing is when people say it and they think that they're, they're getting one over on you, like, oh, bless your heart. Like you don't know. Right? Okay, the, the time has long gone when people know don't know that that means you're being mean. Like we know, right? Everybody knows now. Or if you say it about somebody else, you know, if somebody were to come to me and say, oh, bless her heart, you know, her dog. Well, that wouldn't fit, but bless her heart. She's just a mess right now. <laughs> bless her heart. She just can't stop eating those Twinkies. <laughs> you know, everything else after that is mean usually. You know, okay. <laughs> anyway, how many Twinkies can you eat without getting sick is what I want to know. Um, <laughs> so these are um, most likely um, lapis. So that even those by themselves could go for some nice money because lapis is a pretty nice stone. So it's the gold flecking is what gives it away. Okay, so... I'm looking back in the chat. To, I don't, yeah, um, David's asking if I sell much on Mercari. I don't. So, okay, good. I have consensus on the lapis. Good. <laughs> and then these ones are likely an agate. I always get mixed up with some of these like that. Um, somebody had fun with this. Bless her heart. She really thought she could design jewelry. <laughs> and then these appear to be, they're porous. I don't know what that is. It's not bone. It's, what is that? Unless it's painted bone it's not wood I don't know what that is it's yeah I don't know and then these little bicone like um crystals it's got nice elements I'll, I'll give it that but these um these elements don't all work together unless you think they do and then it's for sale so let me know <laughs> before I take it apart um but yeah likely I'll I'll be I'll see if my sister wants to pick it apart and use the beads for stuff. So, a purple, it's what, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gators fans might like it. You know, that's a thought. I have come across jewelry that was homemade that was colored for um, sports fans, right? Okay, here we go. What have we got next? What have we got next? <laughs> I think that phrase coming from you will be hilarious. <laughs> Which phrase, Lydia? <laughs> I'm looking real fast. I think I like I. Julie doesn't know what Twinkies taste like, y'all. Y'all need to enlighten her. They taste like really greasy. Mm, let's see. It's greasy and spongy and then mushy and more sweet than you can handle. Like I think two tops and then I have a stomach ache. <laughs> it's been a while though. And then I convinced myself I need a box. And then I'm like, what have I done? And I can't throw them away. And so I have to eat them. All right. So here we've got a memory wire. Memory foam. Memory foam? No, memory wire. 
necklace. Again, probably homemade. You can't see that part. And it's got some cool glass beads here. You know, these are some different kinds of glass beads. Really pretty ones though. And again, I doubt that I'll try to sell this. Well, my sister's really making out like a bandit here. <laughs> so there's there's enough here that I'm gonna sell that um, will, actually that would probably sell. You know, that would be a nice choker, go around the neck or a nice collar like at the base of the, the throat. And then that would like kind of hang down into the hollow of your neck. That would actually be kind of nice, huh? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll try to sell that one. Pretty. And then, what have we here? We have, let's see, watery, Julie says watery styrofoam, yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, so my, my kids are in this entrepreneur class. It's uh, like for teaching kids how to be, to start businesses. So of course I'm sitting in the corner taking notes. But they had to do this exercise last week about writing a pitch um, to sell something and trying to sell something that was unsellable. Like, um, and this styro this styrofoam is what made me think of it. And so uh, Mikey's team had to, to try to write a pitch to sell styrofoam toilet paper. And so they were coming up with ideas for how to, um, to, make, it to make it sell, right? So it was really funny. <laughs> It was funny. Okay, so next up we've got this white stone on a maybe leather cord, maybe faux leather. I'm not sure, I'd have to smell it and I don't really wanna smell it because it just came out of that bag. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, TP is recyclable, you're right. <laughs> well, the regular toilet paper is, but styrofoam isn't. I was saying it's, I was like, because they were having, they got kind of stuck. So I was like, hey Mikey, come here. And I was like, you could say that it's um, reusable because you can like wash it and reuse it. That's a, that's a selling point. And I forget what they ended up going with. They didn't use my idea, which is, <laughs> which is probably for the best. They had another idea that they went with. So <laughs> reusable, exactly, yeah. Uh, simmer down now. Is that one, Christina, that, that's one that you don't like? Or is it something else that you're talking to somebody in the chat? Either way. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm looking back. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. So here we have uh, most likely some dyed howlite with tiger's eye on these earrings, which I think these would sell because some people are going to like, you know, they're maybe the turquoise would be out of their price point and this would be a little bit easier for them to pay for. All right. So there's that. Oh, peanut butter. Okay, next we've got another little quartz necklace. The cord is kind of gross and faded. This one has a lot of stone, a lot. And oh, we've got another conglomerate of necklace here. But I think a child must have made this one because look, maybe. So, but these are really nice little amethyst chips that could be taken off right? And then the rest are just kind of little beads that could be used for something else or put in a lot or something. So those, yeah, this will probably get taken apart. Yeah. Hmm. Looking through the chat real fast again. Okay. Then if you're just here, if you just got in, hi, thanks for coming. And we, everybody was sharing a phrase in the chat that they, that annoys them. So you could share yours too become part of the <laughs> the chat and hang out with everybody. All right, so we've got this nice little agate kind of wrapped stone bracelet. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, here's the thing. I wouldn't wear it, but somebody might like it, right? And that's where the shocker thing comes in. You know, you got the red stone, the red orange type stones, and where's that? If you're going to put that in your listing, I don't know. I, yeah, some people really like this style of jewelry. Yeah, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Just checking. Just checking in the chat real fast. Okay, moving on. Then I'm going to pull on this one. 
because okay let's let's look at these beads oh my gosh okay I'm, am i zoomed in let me zoom out let me just take a moment with this this one. Oh, hello disco oh my gosh can i say yes on a lot of different levels for this <laughs> This is, um, this is, yeah, this is probably going to sell for, I think so. So it's got this cool little hor like horn shape. And I think this is supposed to symbolize like virility, you know, and, um, it reminds me of total like disco guy, like disco stew, right? From, isn't he from the Simpsons? Disco stew. And like, he has like the unbuttoned shirt and like the chest hair and they're going to have like the things to be, you know, <laughs> they're potent men, right? Um, and so they, <laughs> I'm just laughing at the idea. But then it's got this really cool like disco bead. They're wooden. Let me see if you can see that. I had it off to the side, sorry. They're wooden beads, but they're very nicely painted gold. I think this is a stellar necklace. <clears throat> and everything that is old will become new again. And right now, what's hot? What are they re re doing right now? The 80s? So what, the 70s are coming? Because they already did the 60s, right, with all the bell-bottom stuff. <sighs> are they going to bring back the 70s stuff? It's got to be. It's, not, it's coming. It's got to be coming. Um, so I think this is a, for sure a winner. Graduated beads. The only problem is if you've got hair on your body, those little, those little barrels are going to, like, pinch them and pull them. But, hey. You're a virile dude. Why not? You you can take the pain. All right. <laughs> Julie said, my brother wore that type of thing in the 70s with a silk shirt. Exactly. He is my target audience. He is my target audience. Okay. So. <laughs> yes. Then we've got another necklace this one is a tie on and it's got these agate stones in it probably also to be taken apart i don't know that i i'll sell that so silver hair stackers is my silver hair would get caught in that thing <laughs> that would be so that would be a funny saturday night live sketch right like the guy from the 70s who's like a little bit older now disco's come back he's gonna go down to the disco <clears throat> but now, like, instead of a wild and crazy guy, you know, from, like, Saturday Night Live. <laughs> now, okay, if we can get Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd back on that. But now they're like, well, Steve Martin's always silver. But, and then they're, like, trying to pull off the same style. And, like, their necklaces, like, pulling their back hairs out. And that would be hilarious. I would, come on, Saturday Night Live. Why am I not writing for you? Okay, hit me up. That's my idea. You saw it here first. If, if Saturday Night Live does this. Send me a message so we know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this one is missing a stone. And these ones are just kind of glued on, so they're not even drilled through. So I can always glue another stone on that. But I probably won't, knowing me. Okay. Don't the end guys shave their body hair? They do. Wax it and stuff. Guys are into that now. But you know what? Like I said, it's a big cycle. And the natural thing is going to come back and it's just going to be so gross. And then they're just going to let it all be hairy again. But, you know, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm mixed. I say that. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Right now, I <laughs> manscape. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, lots of lots of real stones. So here we've got another nice chip neck uh, bracelet. Um, I'll probably, you know, give it to my sister to use because, uh, this looks kind of gross right here with all the like fringy weirdness. It looks like some dead grass growing out of there, you know? So yeah. Anyway, that goes to the side. So, oh, I can hear my kids coming. <sighs> They're done with their video game time. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to leave this one here. Quiz time. Zooming in. Let's see what you make of this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, 10 minutes. Okay, they're asking for extra time. So, there we go. 
We got some Jasper. There's so many different kinds of, wait, no, ja Jasper? Is that right, Jasper? There's so many different kinds of agates and Jaspers, but isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Yeah. And then there's a fossil that's kind of a similar, it has circles kind of like that, that's a crinoid. Um, but this one is not a crinoid. So, <laughs> Helen says hair is uncool. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody has their preferences. Like some women or men, whatever. Some people like the natural look and some people. How do we get on this topic? Oh, right. Saturday Night Live. Sat yeah. Wild and crazy guys. Yes. And even better, if Dan Aykroyd or, you know, like Steve Martin want to swing by and pick this up, I'll, I'll, um, I'll tie it on for them. You know, I'll help them fasten that right on there. So, Oh my gosh. So yeah, Leopard Jasper. Sorry, we got off. We got off target on that one a little bit. So next up, we've got this leather strap necklace with, oh boy, that's one that's going to stump me. Another natural stone. They've got it cut and polished down. Oh boy. I want to say it's a Jasper as well. With the, the reds and the oranges always throw me. So yeah. <laughs> Did you see the one with the, they were like waxing the guy and they had like wax up his nose? Is it the Unikite again? Bloodstone. Oh my gosh. See? That's the thing. I don't think it's the Unikite because that's the one that's more pink. Pinks and greens and stuff, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> now I got y'all talking. <laughs> in the chat I this is possibly like a tumbled howlite like a where it's not dyed but you can see how it's got the veins in it and that's why when they dye it it looks like turquoise decorating yourself says bloodstone is my guess I'll have to go back and double check boy okay tell me do you think this one was a, a homemade one too um so here we've got this hematite ring with a silver, this has to be homemade, <laughs> like a silver kind of chain, but then hanging from this again. Yeah. Sorry, Karen. We, we got talking about like, what if Wild and Crazy Guys came back to Saturday Night Live and they were trying to pull off their old style, but then it hurt too much. You know, and they were like jostling each other around. Do you remember that sketch? Tell me I'm not so old. Because I was even young when that came out, you know. And it was like, they're bumping into each other and... <laughs> I don't know. Ah, my back. I don't know. Okay, so there's that one. Probably just get this one taken apart as well for the beads. Um, Let me, I gotta take a sip. Hang on. Okay. Um... Did I tell you guys about the Dan Aykroyd thing? I may have already told you this. <laughs> tell me if I already told you, and I won't tell you again. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you. Yes, Helen, wild and crazy guys, exactly. Two wild and crazy guys. Dan Aykroyd is a nut, first of all, let's just say, in real life. He's kind of nutty, but whatever. <laughs> He's Dan Aykroyd. So here's another one that's got these little seed pearls in it. They might actually be little seed pearls and some heart um, hematite beads. One second. Yes. Do, do, do half and half. Do half and half. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Half and half, okay. Okay, so, okay, I did tell you, <laughs> but I can tell you again. So if you didn't hear the story, one, oh wait, I, you have to tell me, Heather, what, she says, okay, Margaret, tell us how you know. How I know what? I say m many things and I don't remember the part about the, the Dan Aykroyd thing, because that's where my brain is right now. <laughs> so the Dan Aykroyd thing. So he's on this show. Um, let me start at the beginning. I wake up one morning and I look at my email and I've got all of these emails from my homeschool channel 
um, on my Marfa Lights video when we went out to, okay, the kids and I, my mom went out to Marfa to see the Marfa Lights, amongst other things. And I did a video like whatever, just to show that we saw the Marfa Lights and we put it on my homeschool channel. And one morning I wake up and I'm looking at my email and there's like all of like 30 emails that are comments on that video. And it's like, thanks a lot, Dan Aykroyd and stuff like that. And I'm like, what? I thought I was getting trolled, like random, like people, it's a new thing. People are just like commenting with Dan Aykroyd. Anyway, so it turns out he was on, what's his name, Joe Rogan? Is that the guy's name? Joe, is it Joe Rogan Experience? Anyway, he's got a podcast. He, it's on YouTube too. Seth, not Seth Rogen, Joe Rogen. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he has celebrities on. They talk about stuff. And so he has Dan Aykroyd on. And he's all on there talking about all of this paranormal stuff. And um, I know I've gotten off topic. <laughs> but anyway, so apparently he's super into like alien stuff and ghosts and all of this paranormal stuff. And he brings up the Marfa Lights. And he, so the guy, Joe, is that his name? Joe Rob? Oh, anyway, he asks him, like, oh, I can go onto YouTube and see videos of, of these things. And he's like, oh, yeah, there's lots of. Well, anyway, my video is like the second when you search for it. So that video ended up getting like all. But then all the comments are just like random, like, thanks a lot, Dan Aykroyd. Or just random stuff about them. Dan, Dan Aykroyd. Anyway, so exactly, Julie, my 15 seconds of fame. He didn't mention me because I was like, oh, my gosh, did Dan Aykroyd watch my video? You know, I was so nerdy, whatever. I went like, no, of course not. <laughs> but that was fun anyway. What a fun way to wake up. Like, what? That was weird. Anyway, <laughs> so this is just like one of these kind of cat's eye bead neck bracelets. <laughs> yes, he talked about the crystal head vodka. Yes, that's right. I didn't watch the whole episode. Sorry, Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> I didn't have time. <laughs> you didn't watch my video either, Dan. So I'm not going to sit around and watch you talk about crazy stuff. Anyway. All right. So this looks interesting. So it's got these stones that are glued together, these tumbled rocks. And then they have soldered, it looks like. What do you think? Is it a love it or hate it? I can see somebody loving it because it's unique and it's kind of like a brutalist style and it's got like, oh, there's like crystals shoved in there. And um, I think it maybe if with a different, if I put it on a chain, maybe somebody would be like, whoa, that is exactly what I was looking for. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, Heather. Marfa lights are totally for real. Yes, Silver Hair Stacker. And it's funny because in the in the video, the comments, some people are like, oh, this is amazing. Other people are like, um, why don't you just go over there and look at it? Why don't you just get closer? I was like, yeah, gee, nobody ever thought of that. In 100 years, nobody ever thought to like, go check it out. <laughs> you know? Oh, whatever, dude. Yeah, and they were there. It was totally real. And it and apparently they these lights have been happening since before electricity, before cars, and so people are like, it's totally just car headlights. I'm like, no, this has been going on since before automobiles. So anyway, isn't this gorgeous? So you can see the layers in there. So what is that like a an agate? Like a it's not a picture agate because there's a type of agate. Where's it, Jasper? That's like called a. Picture, picture, not picture frame, picture agate. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Somebody's gonna love that. Look, it makes the size of it on compared to my Labradorite. Oh my gosh. It's not my, I don't know. I don't wear that, that kind of color stuff. I like the Labradorite more. So, moving on. Oh, Helen's got some black pearls from Hawaii to restrand ice. So here we've got, this one looks painful. Right? This is another one. I like it. I think I would like it more if these were more rounded. But, you know, it's not me that has to wear it. So maybe somebody would love this. So I'm going to try to sell this. It is a magnetic closure. So, you know, I could, I could see somebody liking this. Let me zoom it in. Yeah, I've just got to get some good keywords for this. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it because this there there is a style, and I, my brain isn't. It's almost like a Renaissance. I mean, I know it's not a Renaissance style jewelry, but like somebody at the Renaissance festival, I could see like wearing this. <sighs> yeah, so we'll figure that out. Okay, so landscape agate. There we go. Um, right, yeah, they're out in the middle of West Texas. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And of course, I was sitting there recording, and I could have recorded them all night. And my mom and my kids were like freezing their patooties off. <laughs> okay, so this one is cool, and it's got a bracelet. They were so nice to like hook them together. So this isn't like just a random weird necklace. This is the bracelet that matches the necklace that they've connected together so you don't lose them in case you want to list them together. They don't exactly match though. These barrels are different than these barrels, but that's okay. So that's nice. I probably won't sell them together anyway, just because I don't normally. So there's that. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, according to the Texas Rangers. Now that's science, Silver Hair Stacker. That is science, scientifically proven, and I'm not reading it out loud either. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we did hear some mysterious howling, no. <laughs> All right, that, let's take a look at this one. What do they think they are? Dan well, some people say they're like ghost lights. They think they're like maybe ghosts from an old battle that happened there or aliens or who knows, alien landing ground. or They actually might be gases coming up from the ground um, from trapped stuff. But it's like every night almost, right? And it's in the same spot. Yeah. Anywho. Um, okay. Okay. So then we've got this tiger's eye ring and it uh, it's I'm looking to see if there's like a because it kind of reminds me like of an Avon style. I like this. Oh, there's a name for this. It's like Greek style, but there's a word for it. I'll have to look up the word for it because when I list it, I'm going to make sure I'm not even showing you. Oh. Uh, and I'm sure somebody in the chat's going to know what it's called. It's kind of like that Greek scrolling sort of geometric look um we have hit a lot of topics today haven't we so there's a little tarnish on the inside it is not magnetic which does not mean that it's gold necessarily it just means that the metals that they've used wouldn't that be amazing if it was gold oh my gosh but no so yeah that's pretty cool Greek key, that is. That's exactly what I was thinking of. All right, so there is a tiger's eye stone. And then we've got another stretchy gemstone chip bracelet. All right, here we go. Quiz time. What's the name of this stone? My, my brain can't think of it. I'm quizzing you because I can't think of it. Which one looks Versace? Oh, this one? I'll have to look at it closer, I guess. I don't see any maker's marks in there. What is the name of this stone? It's like that green and white. Oh, it's gonna kill me. My mom has a necklace of this. And I can't think of what it is. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's no, oh wait, there is a, Hang on, let me get my, there's a little mark in there. Kayla, you love the pendant? Oh, good. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, is anybody gonna like this? Sorry, I'm trying to see what this maker's mark is in here. It says S, maybe an S. One more time, I'm, I'm looking real fast. Hmm, S-E-T-A. So, yeah, there's a stamp inside of this that is S-E-T-A. I'm going to Google that real fast. Uh, S-E-T-A. Jewelry mark. 
Is it a thing? I don't even know. No, I don't know. I see just other people. Sita jewelry, affordable, unique, brand name, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. All right, so Amazonite, maybe. Yeah, it looks like, like almost like trumpet flowers. Do you know what trumpet flowers are? It's interesting. So yeah, I'll probably sell that pretty easily. Reselling Addict says, do you guys have a good, have a go-to resource site for looking up stones? The one I like is Fire Mountain Gemstone. I think it's called Fire Mountain G Gems. But it's a site that sells beads and stuff, but they've got a like, they'll, you can click on blue, blue beads or blue stones, and it'll like have all of them in a nice little thumbnail picture. Boom, 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 boom. So you can see it, especially when I get to like agates and stuff. Cause then I get stuck on like, oh, what kind of agate is that? I don't know. Um, and so you can just go click on that and it'll have them all like with a picture. Fire, is that what it's called? Fire, it's called Fire Mountain Gems, I think. So here's another one with the memory wire. And this one's kind of nice. I can see it's kind of got that tribal look. Maybe that's what I was thinking after this other one. Kind of like a tribal style. Um, yes, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I, that's, I need that sometimes because I get... You start looking at so many, and I know there are people that, that can name them off pretty quickly, but I don't know. I think with just my life, I can only handle so many things in my brain. And I'm becoming aware of the fact that I, I might be ADHD. I don't know. My It turns out my son is. So that's something that made me think, oh, huh, maybe it's hereditary. <laughs> and you, probably, you guys are probably like, uh, we could have told you that, Margaret. No test needed. So anyway, yeah, this will probably go up for sale too. And then here are some tiger's eye earrings that look like maybe... Now, when I see these, this style of backing that looks kind of like a flower, I always want to look at it a little closer because I always feel like they're a, just a little bit nicer. Even though I don't see... Let me look on the post on these. I don't see any kind of mark on them. I'm gonna look at the back of this real fast with my loop, just to see. Cause maybe, no, I don't see anything other than gross ear stuff. So yeah, those are nice. It, right, there's so many pretty things. Oh no, I have not, Julie. Julie says, have you ordered a Fire Mountain Gem catalog? Oh, that would be a good resource to have. I may have to do that. All right, I do know what this one is. Ha ha, finally. Is it, is it on there too? No, okay, good. Um, anybody? This is another one that, that I, I like to find because it usually sells, I won't say super fast, but it sells not too slowly. So, oh yeah, someone said gold posts should be checked. Yeah, that, that was me. I always say like, oh, when I see gold posts, the thing is, is I'll, I'll, um, I'll test that. So, Let's see, there you go, Jar Jar with Tina, Snowflake Obsidian, you got it. Um, so yeah, and now I don't know about the heart, like if that's gonna be fancy, but I would definitely like take it off of this and put it on a silver tone. I always save chains, so even though this is not sterling silver, I've got, there's a little mark there, I've got some silver chains. What does that say? I can't read it. Oh, I just can't read it. Anyway, so I'll put this on a, a chain to sell. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Yeah, I like that too. And then here we've got Buddha, just a little Buddha, probably a jadeite, a little carved. I need to do better about, I mean, I'm really bad about, um, it takes me time. Like if I'm not sure on something, if it's jade or jadeite, because I like, but just same thing with turquoise. I always automatically assume it's not until I can disprove, you know, like knock out all the things to prove it. So I should sell Texas Galleon sanitizer. That's really a good idea. <laughs> um, yeah, he's so cute, right? He's just like a little idol type of deal. He's got, was he a bead at some point? No, he must have had something hooked on his head to make him a charm or something. Anyway, there he is, little Buddha guy sitting there. Okay. Mm. All right, moving on. It doesn't have a hole in the bottom, so I guess he was like a charm at some point, you know. He must have been a little charm. 
Now, here's this one. Now for something completely different. So we have got something to try to trick and befuddle you. Even though we see gold in here and we were just talking about how lapis has gold in it, this is not lapis at all. So my guess here is we've got some, some halite that's been kind of like flat, you know, dyed, but then the veins, look, it's just been kind of like splatter painted almost, right? Unless you're like, no, that's a thing, Margaret. Let me tell you what that really is. No. You like this one? Oh yeah, I would. I still need to figure that out too. <laughs> this is pretty unique. And then up here, we've got these beads that have got this iridescent glaze on them and then wooden beads in between. Do you think this would sell? You don't think that's how light Rhiannon says, okay, then I've got to learn. Because I mean, I see your point where it's just like, all right, they're not uniformly weird with the gold stuff on them. However, I don't know. What do you think? You think that would sell? Okay. Use some, okay. All right, I'm looking to see in the chat, like, okay, well then what is this? Like this one doesn't have so much of that stuff on it. All right. This is a tricky one. You think sure this would sell? I mean, why not, right? It's Funkadelic. I have to find out what these these are, though. I mean, because it's true. This has got like a different kind of pattern with that gold on it than that, and then that, and that. I'm going to have to ask. I'm not sure about that stone. I don't know either. I, yeah. I think, I think it's how I, with this has been painted and dyed and somebody had fun with it. It's, uh, yeah. It's summer in Australia. This is true. Okay, that is funky. It's funky fun with the summer dress. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen that gold line one before. Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up. Look a little, dive a little deeper. Here's another one. This one's pretty heavy. Look at that stone though. That bead is something special. I know I've got a glare going on it, but let me zoom it in. Look at all the different colors in it. There's like gold color, red, there's some blue, there's some green. Wow. Like this one just, I just wanted on a strand by itself. I feel like it's mesmerizing, just spinning it around. It would be a shame to have it on my neck. Like it almost looks like there's part of like tiger's eye mixed in there. Like that looks like it would be tiger's eye, you know? And then we've got the blue green, right? So cool, that's a really cool stone right there. Okay. And then the rest of them, you know, are these just different stones, again, that I need to look up. But even this one, look, there it is. It's got the blues, the greens, the reds, and I, is this one the Amazonite? This is the Amazonite, right? <laughs> that one's Jasper, this one right here. Is this one the Amaz Amazonite that has the red flecks in it? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but I'm not 100% sure. I get them mixed up. This is why I have the internet. Okay, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. So I'm like, I would need, I would probably, honestly, I would probably make a video of this one. Just to, because I don't feel like a, a photograph would do it justice. You know, of course, not with this big ring glare on it, but I feel like I would want to show off how really pretty this stone is. Okay. It does not have... Oh, okay. Amazon like to What is the one that has the red then? Okay. Internet. Moss agate, maybe? Mm, I think that's more of a a lighter green um, than that. Okay. We've got another kind of a cat's eye bead um, bracelet. And then we've got this, oops, these little earrings. These are cute. I like long earrings like this. So I, but I don't think I'll wear these, but these are these little silver tone chain earrings with some um, amethyst chips, but I could see some like hippie chick, you know, in a crystal shop wearing these. Um, no, no, cause that one is more pink, I think. I appreciate y'all helping me in the chat though, definitely. Oh, I see something super pretty. I can't wait to show you. All right, we've got another hematite one. 
and it's got little moons on it. So that's cute. I like that. Lots of people into the moon these days. <laughs> I'm not joking. And then here's another nice little bracelet. This one looks more like moss agate to me with it's kind of like more mossy green. And if you're like, no, Margaret, you're wrong again. <laughs> like, okay. All the greens, come on. Like all the different green stones, they just start throwing me. Same thing with the orange ones. There's ones I know for sure. Then there's ones I'm like, oh, you think that one matches? See, look. Or was there a different necklace that one went with? See, totally. Here, comparating. Comparating? Oh my gosh. Now we're making up words. But comparing kind of makes sense because you're parroting and you're comparing. And if you're a parrot, you're... Okay, we'll just leave that there. Okay, <laughs> serpentine. Yes, that's it. Okay. <sighs> Bear with me, y'all. <laughs> so take a look. Take a gander at these delightful earrings. Let me get the back off of this one. If my kids come up here are bickering, y'all will have to bear with me while I mother for a second. All right. They've been pretty good, but lately, some days, we just have a moment. Let's see if I can get where I can. Where are they? There. Okay. These are definitely Asian-inspired. I don't... They almost look like those, like, pagoda gates or something, but it's not quite. So... And then it's got this nice little, like, jade-colored bead in there and ah, there she goes. Are they, oh, you think it's Japanese for love. Okay, so I'm gonna need to look up some character, um, some character stuff. Let's see if we have any marks. Can y'all see that okay? I'm gonna put that over there for y'all so you can look at that while I am looking at the back to see if I see any marks on it. I don't so far. They're not fighting, I don't think. And I don't see, they feel kind of tinny. They don't feel, but then again, I've had some gold earrings that I was like, oh, they feel really thin and light. And then boom, they were, they were really gold. So these are nice. I like that. So I'll probably, even though they're not marked, I'll probably test them anyway, just in case. But aren't they, aren't they sweet? They're really nice. They're unique. I like that. Yes, gold posts should always be tested. Yeah, and that's what I, and I always say that, right? I'm like, whenever I see gold posts, I always think, you know what? Let's double check that. Okay, so there's those. Here's another pair. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like this one, the gold, they didn't make the post part gold, but that's okay. But there is something stamped on the back of the earring post, right? That's why I say, check those posts. I mean, the earring backs, that says Avon. Okay, so here we've got some little, <clears throat> most likely Avon. They feel like plastic, like little leaves and pearls. I know, <laughs> my hands are filthy right now, I know. So there's these ones. I'll wash right after we get done. What kind of, what are the, what do you think this one's meant to be? Because of the, with the white pearls, yeah. So there's those ones, those are cute. We're getting down there. We've got a few more things. You kind of dump out the rest of this bag. Oh, and then there's a mystery box at the end. I forgot. There's a mystery box. Oh my gosh. No, get out of here. There, okay. A little bead rolled off. Yeah, there's a box that will open at the end. Okay, zooming back out a little bit, maybe. There we go. All right, so I dumped the rest of the stuff. We've got another gemstone heart. We've got this one, probably like a soda light. There's no, maybe it was, oh, you know what? I bet it goes in that other bracelet. Remember I said there was one that with a, there was a piece missing from it. Where did it go? Is this it? But that doesn't look like it quite matches, does it? No, I don't think so. It's a little too light. Maybe that's why it jumped ship. It's like, I don't match. Who thought I matched? I'm out of here. Okay. Then we've got this one with the more, hang on one second. Hey kiddos, yeah. I'm doing a live video. Okay. No. Oh, they are totally unimpressed. Um, so, all right, here we go. We got another 
<laughs> tumbled stone bracelet. Another packing peanut. We've got another hematite bracelet. There we go. Oh, that's a sweet little heart with a green stone in it as well. And that's cute. Okay. Another memory wire bracelet. Look at this one. Now that is another stone. I, wow, this one has me stumped as well. Look at this one. Okay, what do you make of that one, friends? It's the curvatures. It's all the roundness. They're tumbled stone, they're cold. What do you think? Um, Heather says, where am I planning? It's not coral. Do they, cause it's tumbled. I don't think that's coral. I'm looking at it. I mean, I can see how it looks kind of like coral in this spot. Yeah, I get nodule. <laughs> um, the pink and roundness reminds me of Roto Crozonite. Yeah. Um, I sell on Etsy and eBay. Unless you see something that you like, then I sell it to you. I am so... And I think if you tried... Yeah, I don't know on this one. It's... Can they tumble coral? That's what I'm saying. Like, same thing with, like, um, crinoids. Because crinoids are kind of round like that. And they're kind of clustered. Um... Because it's the same kind of deal. Crinoids are like a uh, fossilized, you know, like underwater plant thing. Kind of like a coral type of deal, but a plant. Um, yeah, and I'm just like, but I don't know if they can tumble those. Right? Yeah, this, is, this has got me majorly stumped. So, yeah. Pink rock with circles. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. Tumbled coral. Let me see. Tumbled, tumbled coral stone. Huh? Let's look. Well, I mean, I see something that says tumbled coral stone. Oh, agatized tumbled coral. That looks like a crinoid though. Why are they calling it a, anyway, whatever. Okay, we're gonna move on. <sighs> Moving on. We'll figure out what this bad boy is at some point. It's from the ocean. Ah, oh, okay, cool. So there's that. Oh, hello, Jan. <laughs> so then we've got a watch and it's got these nice little, you can't see that, sorry about that. Um, tiger's eye beads, stretchy. Might need a new battery in there. Yeah, totally. And then we've got some loose beads here. We've also got a tie bar, which is in a remarkably good shape for being bunched up in that bag. So that's probably about 10 bucks right there. And look what I found. Another one of those. I needed three, and now I've got three. So there we go. I'm gonna have three happy kids. I've got these little earrings. They look like coral. We're gonna have to look at the backs because this the posts are gold as well. This could be gold. We'll look in a second. Uh, anything else in here that we need to look at in particular? I bet this came off of that bracelet that was missing a stone. There's a double heart hematite pendant. And yeah, okay, kind of just mishmash. So let's look at this one and then we've got our mystery box. Ooh. What could it be? All right, so those are magnetic, so never mind on the gold. Here we go. Mystery box. What could it be? It's a sparkly box. Oh boy. <laughs> I know, like, what's in there? Oh. Womp, 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 womp. I mean, I might sell it because somebody might want a little flowers and a butterfly for the little girl. Maybe there's something hiding underneath. Oh no, just some poison. Cool. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, my dirty hands might have smudged that on there. I'll have to clean that up. Okay. So that's what we've got. I think I did all right. It was 46 bucks, including the shipping. And we got all of this. It's like pirate's hoard of natural stone. And I've got something for myself. I'm gonna keep this one. And I've got some cool little, where'd they go? These ones, some scarabs. And I thought I had three. There it is, there's three of them. Ah, oh, what did I say? That's what we needed. Okay, so let me know. What was your favorite? Let me know, like we were talking about, what was your, what phrase drives you bananas? Have you seen the Marfa lights? Do you think Dan Aykroyd and Steve Martin should get back together and do Wild and Crazy Guys one last time because they got old and, and you know, decrepit? They're not decrepit. Oh my gosh, that was mean. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I had a lot of fun. Um, go over there and show that one thumbs down what's for by hitting the thumbs up or join them. You know, if you can't beat them, join them either way. Uh, so calcified coral can be tumbled, Rosalie said. Okay, sweet. Oh, your hubby saw Steve Martin recently. I like Steve Martin. Yeah, I like Dan Aykroyd too. <laughs> All right. I enjoyed this, everybody. I'm so glad I haven't done this in a while. Um, and again, yeah, thanks for coming and I will see you all soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Maybe. Wait, I forgot how to turn this thing off now. I said bye. And then I'm like, oh, oh there's the X. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody.